this trust is immune from the creditors of spouse one, because spouse one doesn't own it anymore, immune from the creditors of spouse two, because spouse two didn't fund it and is limited to what spouse two can receive, and is never subject to federal estate tax. So as you know, typically investments grow at about 7% a year on average. It'll double every 10 years. So it's a million dollars this year. It's $2 million in 10 years. It's $4 million in 20 years. And it's $8 million in 30 years that will pass estate tax-free. And if spouse one gets dementia, spouse one won't be able to do anything silly with the million. It's locked away. If spouse two gets dementia, the trust document has all sorts of nice protections that would require a co-trustee. The other nice thing about it is that the trust never has to file an income tax return. All of its income and deductions go onto the income tax return of the married couple. So there's no additional formalities and the payment of the income tax on the trust income by the married couple basically subsidizes the trust because the trust never has to pay ta any taxes. The couple pays the tax and that's not considered to be a gift under the gift tax laws. <laughs>